heart disease remains the number one killer of women in the United States. That's according to the American Heart Association. But there is good news. A new study published in the New England Journal of Medicine has found that three simple blood tests can give women a better picture of their risk for heart attack and stroke decades in advance. Dr. Nidhi Kumar is on call this morning with more on the revolutionary study. Good morning. Good morning. This is really quite incredible, but let's start by why is heart disease so common in women? It is so common. Do you, uh, heart disease accounts for more deaths in women than all forms of cancer. Now, women have the same risk factors as men, but there's less awareness of heart disease in women. Women have high blood pressure, cholesterol, diabetes, obesity. Women also have some unique stressors. You know, many women work outside of the house but are still primary caregivers to the people in their lives, their children, their parents, their pets, their plants. And then finally, women have unique events in their life that increase their risk, like pregnancy and menopause. Tell us about the study and specifically which blood tests are they looking at now for women? Right, so the study followed 50,000 women average age was 55 for 30 years. So that's a lot of data. They looked at three biomarkers, LDL cholesterol, that's your bad cholesterol that causes plaque in your arteries, a glycoprotein called LP little a, and then finally C-reactive protein, which is a marker of inflammation in the blood. And what did the researchers find with this? Well, they found that inflammation by far increased your risk. So people that had a CRP that was greater than five had about a 70% risk of developing a major cardiac event during the course of the study. Elevated LDL cholesterol and elevated LP little a increased your risk about 30%. If you had all three risk factors that were elevated, you had a three times increased risk of heart attack, four times increased risk of stroke. Given these new findings, what should women be doing now and what should women be doing differently? Well, we always say know your numbers. High blood pressure, know your, you know your glucose, know your weight, but know these three numbers as well, CRP, LDL cholesterol, LP little a. The next time you go to your doctor, ask for those blood tests to be taken, um, control your risk factors, control your stress, and then finally, there's a lot of hesitancy in taking statins. But we are learning from this study that these diseases start early in life, in your 30s, 40s, and 50s. So for women that are done having children, have a conversation with your doctor and start therapy sooner than later. Dr. Nadi Kumar, thank you so much. Thank really you. Really enlightening report. Uh, you could remember, you can watch Dr. Kumar's segment. That's every Monday at 7.15, right here on CBS News New York. So good to see you. Thank you so much.